Today, we'll be showing you guys how to hopefully successfully clean the fingerprint sensor under Dell Precision M4700. The reason for this is because I used um, Clorox wipes to clean the whole palm rest and uh, keyboard assembly. And after that, the fingerprint reader will not work. It says it, your device is having problems detecting your fingerprint or something like that. So what I did is just took it apart. And now we're just going to take a look at what we can do to hopefully fix the fingerprint reader. As you can see, it's labeled right there. Let's get it to focus. FP, fingerprint. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, so it's being held down by two screws. And if you just wanted to do like basic unplug cable plug back in, it is actually this cable right here connects to the back, this blue one. So you can just do that to make it easier upon yourselves. But what we are going to do is uh, we're going to take this off and hopefully be able to recover that fingerprint back. Back. I'm just using a normal loose head screwdriver. Get these little screws. Get the other one. Just gonna see if there's any like dust or anything that I can. Remove to okay, so lift the front back part right here, just lift up like that, and that is fingerprint reader right there. Small, okay. Right there, it's a fingerprint reader. Probably some of the cleaning supply got on it and may have shorted something out. Hopefully, not. So, okay, so it's got this little like plastic shielding around it so hopefully that protected it hopefully that protected it there you go hopefully that protected it so I'm just gonna put it back This is a safety thing. I'm just gonna unplug the cable. Okay. Fill that. So right there, that is a fingerprint reader. Small object, but let's hope that this will fix this issue. Right, so this got a little bracket right there. So press down to lock the cable in place and move it back to release the cable. That's what we're going to do.
All right, so got it back. There we go. So now I'm gonna put this thing back. So it's got little up right there. So just line it up. It's got little dent right here. Little piece of plastic sticking up and it. Another one right there, like so. I'm just gonna line them up, and as you can see, it's in there. Now we're gonna put the screws back on. So we got that. Now we're just gonna put it back, and uh, hopefully it should work. So we're just gonna move this to the side. Move the laptop itself towards us. Right there. Press the button. So, as you can see there, that's the inside of the motherboard. Currently, it's got an i7 3840QM, 2.8 gigahertz. It can turbo up to a 3.8. It can, supposedly, but the maximum I've gotten it is at 3.56. It's got a Quadro K2000M, 2 gigabytes of DDR3. It's got four gig, 8 gigs here and 8 gigs on the back, so 16 gigabytes. We've got a Barracuda hard drive one terabyte and uh, yeah so let's put it back now something very very important when putting this thing back let's get this to focus you see a little wire right there and you see another one right there so that is where these will lock into place and there is a certain way that you want to insert this back on okay so first we're gonna move the LCD back it's got a strong hinge okay now to put it back what you do want to do is gonna Grab it like that, and also, just gonna put this there. You see here, when you press it, those little things are right there. This is what releases the screen, what so when you want to open it. So, what we want to do is gonna get the little plastic things right. Well, the, they're both metal, so we're going to try to get the little metal rings or things right on top of them. So, actually, you got that, that side, and that side. So, what, right now, we're just going to clip everything back together, and we're just going to do a quick test. And uh, it locked into place just fine. So this is how it should look. You can see right there the little metal frame. So that's how it's supposed to look. I figured this out because at one time I took it apart and um, it would not close. It would just not the little metal pieces right on top of here. They would not close in all the way and lock. So. I had to take it apart and uh, deal with that. So, <clears throat> that out of, the, out of the way. So now we're just gonna start clipping everything back into place. Alright, All right, so now what we need to do is plug some cables back in and uh, start putting screws back on. So. 
Same thing with the other ones. This one, little cable that there is. Okay. Little colors, things, they would actually go facing down. connector right here what I do is just grab it from the lip right there line it up and uh, then push down you should hear really soft alright so there's the keyboard connection so before we proceed, I'm just going to start putting all the screws back on. So for the front here, we've got all these amazing screws right there. But the neat thing is that they are labeled where they go. So 2.5 times 5, it would be these thick ones and in some places you got two times three and uh, those would be the short ones so you can't go wrong so I'm just gonna what I do first is just I just put them in the little holes where they're, they're gonna go so afterwards I can just go and Tighten them. Right. So if you if this is gonna be your first time doing this, so there's a screw right there. I'm in trouble focusing. So. right there this one as you can see it's got a K so that one the whole the screw right there would actually be for the keyboard so 2.5 we're gonna put one in there right 2.5 put one in there right 2.5 And as you can see, this one's got a P. So all the ones that I've been putting in right now, they got a P. So that means that it's for the palm rest. So makes it easier. Right there. Right there. Got a screw left. And they would go right here. Okay, so now with the screwdriver, it's gonna go in each one of them and uh, tighten them.
screw comes, the screw goes upside down. So, correct it. And the screw. So we got that. Now we're gonna move on to the back before we put any keyboard or those things in. I'm gonna close the screen, flip it over, and as you can see right there, eight more gigs of RAM. We got a 256 gigabyte SSD, Intel Centrino Ultimate, and 6300. So flipped it over because. This is where the CD drive goes, and it's got two screws right there, which I got separated right there. Another screw would go here to focus. You can faintly see it, but it's got a P there, and there are two more. Right here and this one right there. They got peas, so almost. So, these screws. There, so something. Screw in. And then we are going to tighten them. Right, so you got that screw there. There we go. So now the two screws that are underneath the CD drive. Okay, so you guys remember I said that these little, about these two little cables. So the one on the bottom here with the blue, that is for the fingerprint reader. And as you can see right there, it's very small print. FP fingerprint. So yeah, if you don't want to take everything apart, you can just reseat this little cable. So now for the CD drive, I kept the screw here, so we're going to take it off, CD drive just goes, slide it in, get it placed, then get the screw. place all right so now I think I'm just gonna put the back cover on the back cover is being it's held in place by two through the screw right there right here metal magnesium Right, so the way you want to do this is you see space right there, space right there. So you just, as you can see, 
leave this space right there then you can just pull to towards yourself very hard to do holding the phone but okay so press down a little bit then pull towards yourself then pull towards yourself and then uh, it should lock in place after that screw there So now we got a last one. Well, we got a small amount of works that still needs to be done. Right, so we got this keyboard with four little screws that will go in the K label box is right there. But first, we're gonna put the keyboard back on. Right. Okay, so right. So now. Right there, right here. Little pins go facing the left. So what you need to do first is just lift the white piece on both sides. Here. Get it there, just press down one side, then the other. It doesn't matter how long it takes, it just make sure you do it right. No, I think I'll need to reseat this one because as you can see the little the pins are a bit exposed right there. So I'm just gonna do that off camera then. Get back. I just decided to leave them. That's how they were. I don't want to mess with it anymore. Alright, so now installing the keyboard. Just gonna get it to focus. As you can see right here, that would be the delete key. There's a little plastic piece, metal actually, right there. And uh, right there. Another one on this side as well. So, right there. So what you want to do is going to lift the keyboard at this angle. Try to make sure that those little pieces go in first. Then after that, you can just start pressing on the side, and you should start hearing clicks, which will. Right here, little clip right here that, that will lock the keyboard in place. But that is not enough, so what we're gonna do is we are going to put the four screws back on. So, okay, right there. So, for this one, just gonna use the screwdriver.
another keyboard frame. So as you can see, plastic keys right there, tab, do not know what they're called. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, it's gonna start off. We're gonna just start it at this angle right here. So let's make sure that the bottom part is locked into place first. Then after that, we can just go around the corners, just carefully pressing down, so the keyboard frame would get into place. So. That's it. That is how to check the fingerprint scanner. They're on a Dell Precision M4700. So right now we're just going to turn it on. And we do not have the battery on it. So, we're going to get the battery. Right there. So for the battery, I got the, I think this is the highest capacity you can get it, 97 watt hours. So, it's got little pieces right there. Yeah, so, put it at the bottom, I guess, first, then press it down, and you will see that switch go from there to there. So that will lock it into place. So I'm just going to take it out. I just, well, when you hear the click, that's a good sign that you did it right. Alright, so now we got the battery back on. So now we're gonna turn it on. Press the power button. Turns on. Heard the little CD drive. And, uh, as you can see, the screen is pretty bright, even under direct sunlight. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna put it facing the sun directly. And as you can see, it still remains very bright. The viewing angles are not the greatest. So I'm just gonna put in my password. All right, so now we're logged in. So we're gonna go to start, type finger. So set up fingerprint, sign in, so set up. Get started. We will need to enter a pin. I will pause this part and we have to set up a pin in order to actually be able to use the fingerprint reader. So after you enter the pin successfully or you can create one, you will be greeted with this. So what you do now, it's kind of like with the S5, you just swipe down and you know, swipe again. So we're gonna swipe and it should start gradually increasing. So swipe again. Right there. So one more time. All right, one more time. All right. All set. Use your fingerprint. And the next time you want to unlock your device. So I think you can add multiple fingerprints. As you can see, add another finger. Go there. All right. So if you wanted to set up a fingerprint scanner, if you know that your fingerprint scanner is good. So one of the things that you need to do before you can actually start using it is that you will need to download the let's see Control Vault from Dell. So let's just go to Dell's website. So I've done that, um, so I'm just going to lock my computer.
So one thing, so, hey Cortana, lock my computer. Okay, opening computer management. Cancel. Hey Cortana, lock my computer. Locking your computer. All right, so after you had your assistant lock your computer for you, you can swipe down and wait. You see how fast it's logged me in? Now, if you want to get like similar performance logging in when once you swipe this and just get like maybe like five seconds at the most when I log in to get you to this screen, what I have in my computer, I got an SSD, which increased the time it took for me to actually to actually get to the screen once I swiped my fingerprint, my finger on the fingerprint scanner. Before I had a hard drive and it took a bit longer because the hard drive, as you know, it's a bit slower. So I needed to lo load all, all, well, multiple components, I guess, multiple programs before this was considered when you swiped your finger. So that is one thing that you need to keep in mind. So that is it. Hope you guys like this video. If this video helped that you guys just let me know in the comments, like, and if you want to see more videos about the Dell Precision, let me know in the comments and just subscribe. So next time I upload something about it, you guys will be the first ones to view it, I guess. I also have a HP Elite book right there, 9470M. I'm start. I, I got it a few weeks ago, but if you guys want to see videos about that too, just subscribe, like, and let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and bye.